Let's talk about sling packs today and some of the more slim and daily carry type of versions. Pro tip, some even double as fanny packs. And I know that's really what gets your juices flowing. All right, so this is the Alpaca Atom X Sling. Uh, comes from Alpaca. They make uh, quite a few different varieties and sizes of slings. The Atom X Sling comes in a few different colors. This is the black Cordura version of it. Uh, I believe it. they have a multicam black as well as an X-Pack version of it, but I think the X-Pack version is sold out. So a really nice, um, really nice style, nice feel to it. As you can see, it's a very thin and flat sling, which is is interesting. So let's uh, let's talk about a few of the specs on this before we kind of jump into giving you kind of the walk around of the internals and some of the features of it. So um, again, Cordura, uh, it has three pockets. So you have a, a main pocket in the front. You have a top pocket and you have a back kind of hidden hidden pocket, uh, if you will. Uh, really nice. Um, so the uh, zippers are YKK zippers. You have your uh, waterproof zipper seal that looks like it's Hypalon on each of the zippers. The zippers are very nice. Um, they have, uh, if you can see, a little, um, little clip on each of the zippers which I'll show you what that feature is in a moment. Um, and then you, again, same with the back. The back zipper is not, is not waterproof, it's just a standard, standard zipper. The nice thing is, is it's very comfortable. Uh, it has a uh, seat belt style and feel strap that comes with it. Super adjustable, you have a quick loop here and retainment for the actual strap itself. This quick loop you can just use with your finger to pull quickly. Another really nice and thought out feature of the bag is that it comes with a magnetic clip. Uh, if you're familiar with Fidlock, that's exactly how it works. I don't know if this is specifically a Fidlock um, attachment, uh, magnetic attachment is it's not labeled, but again, magnetic, very nice, very easy. It also has an additional plastic D loop here um, that you can use to, I guess, lash once it's on your back to have three points instead of two points on your harness. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh, there are modular accessories that you can attach on the front here. There are some straps uh, that, are, that are sewn in. Again, that's the same seatbelt material. The accessories that can attach to this that they sell, and I'll post those kind of in the video itself so you can kind of see what those look like and what they are specifically. And obviously I, in the description, I'll have um, a link to each of those products. So the cool thing with these zippers is that uh, there is a, a loop by, hidden behind uh, on the front behind this first kind of patch here. There's a loop and you can attach your zipper to that loop and tuck it away kind of hidden. So as you're wearing it, uh, if you have it on your back and you're in a very heavily populated area, uh, it keeps those zippers secure from someone trying to unzip your bag and get out any of your personal belongings, which is really nice, especially if you're in large urban areas, you're traveling overseas, you know some of those large areas of population have quite a bit of pickpocketing going on. Um, that's actually a really nice feature to this bag and kind of well thought out um, for those use cases. And again, on the top zipper, you have this loop in the back here and you can just attach your, um, your zipper to it directly. Now, the um, size of the bag is stated at five liters, which um, as I've placed things in, and I'll show you, I'll put a couple items in here so you can kind of see how this bag uh, ends up once you have some items in the bag itself or in the sling itself. Um, it, it states five liters, and I've had quite a bit of um, accessories in the bag, but I find it kind of interesting. I haven't done a review on this, but you can see this is the Air City Sling 2. Um, this one has more volume. It's not as wide as the alpaca as you can see but this uh city sling is rated at or it states the size is 4.5 liters which just again my brain can't get wrapped around how how thin this one is this was the alpaca is five liters and this uh city sling uh, by air is four and a half liters um, and truth be told i feel like i can hold more in the air sling and it may just be because it expands a little bit better uh, a little bit wider and the way that the pouches are designed 
um, looks like and feels like it holds more than the larger um, five liter alpaca. That, be said, that being said, I bought the alpaca because I wanted something with a very thin profile. Number one, for packing in um, like a travel bag uh, or luggage so that it lays very flat, has a low profile uh, when it's on and isn't bulky and just allows me to carry some of the necessities um, like wallet, passport, uh, camera, some of those things. So uh, it does fit that, that niche very well. Um, another uh, feature of the bag is uh, the front pocket itself, if you can see in here, the entire pocket is, an, is RFID blocking. So again, uh, if you have items that you don't want to be emitting uh, your RFID, throw it in the front pocket, which is, again, is a nice thought out feature from Alpaca. I like that idea. Uh, the inner pocket is uh, a mesh, uh, a nylon ripstop material. You have two stretchy uh, mesh pockets uh, for organization inside this main compartment. Uh, and again, it expands pretty wide. Um, and then again, like I mentioned, the, the rear pocket is specifically, again, your nylon kind of um, rip stop material, a smaller pocket where you can put some of those more, um, I guess, personal items like your passport is what it's intended for. Interestingly enough, this rear pocket for your passport that they state doesn't have um, that kind of uh, loop attachment and clip on the zipper to keep it secure. I guess that's because it's closer to your body and harder to get to. So um, that kind of makes sense, but it would have been nice to have um, that same feature on that rear zipper as you do on the front zippers. Uh, they state that the fabrics are waterproof. Uh, and then they also, Alpaca states that the um, copper, that the material is copper and silver infused fabric. I'm not sure exactly what that means, um, but uh, that's interesting. Uh, I guess maybe that helps with the smell of the material uh, if you wear it over time. Not sure exactly what that feature is. Maybe some of the sanitation uh, associated with it or some of the, I know there's antimicrobial features within silver, so maybe that helps with that. Not quite sure. If anybody can answer that, please, you know, leave a comment down below. Um, one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the the corner design on the upper part here. And, and I'll show you um, towards the end of the video what this looks like on from a fitment perspective. But the way that these straps are stitched, and they're, they're very nice cross-stitched pattern, double-stitched um, attachment points. It's, it's, well, it's well put together. There aren't any stray, um, any stray seams, any stray uh, material, any threads anywhere. It's very well put together, very well sewn. Uh, you can tell it's a very quality piece. Um, but what I don't like is you'll see here how these attachment points are angled, but the very top of the bag is is pointed. When it's on, it's a little weak. It's a little strange looking uh, because these points here don't really fit to your body and contour to your body where it would have been nice if they were potentially angled a little bit at the top here so that it contours to your body a bit more when it's on. When it's on your body, these points on the top here kind of stand out and stick out a little bit away from your body versus contouring towards your body. And I personally bought it for that low profile uh, look and fit and wanted it to fit really close to the, to the body. That's really probably my only complaint about this sling is this top piece and how that's designed. Um, I'm guessing that was designed just for maximum maybe volume size, but um, I think if you kind of trimmed those in, angled those a little bit, maybe designed the stitching angle a little differently, uh, it may fit a little closer to your to your body. But other than that, it's a great, um, a great sling. I actually really like it. And again, I've got two. Um, I kind of got a little bit in the sling game a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago, I bought this one, you know, a little over a year. Never did a review for the channel on it. Kind of wish I did. Maybe I will in the future if y'all are interested in it. But there's quite a few reviews out there. Um, and then I saw this one because I wanted a bit, one a bit more low profile and, um, and picked this one up. So let me show you uh, what some of the things you can kind of hold in this. Uh, it states that you can hold a Nintendo Switch in the top part, and I would believe that to be true. Um, and it does have the, 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 the width, or the length to hold a Switch in there, which is kind of fun. I don't have a Switch. Uh, I have this uh, Abernick, uh, I guess the model is the metal, the metal version of the model, the RG351M. Uh, if you haven't taken a look at these, if you do, you know, like, kind of on the on the go gaming and you're looking for something to um, play 
This is actually a fantastic little device that has thousands. It's, it's an emulator, basically. Uh, you can pick it up on Amazon. I'll post a link, and of course, it'll be an affiliate link. But the cool thing with this is it's super comfortable. Um, it has all the button layouts like you would, you would enjoy. Uh, and it's an emulator, so it has, you know, Sega Dreamcast. It has, you know, all the Nintendos uh, on it. It has... Um, just a whole wide variety of your older gaming systems. I wanna say there's over a thousand games on this uh, little device. And it's really nice, the battery lasts quite some time. Again, metal metal case, you can buy the version with a plastic uh, case, but I want for the metal case. And, and this is just easy, you just can throw it in your bag. It's a little, it's obviously smaller than the Switch. Um, and you, there's other ROMs out there that you can flash it with, with different games um, that are pretty deep community there. So. That's pretty cool. Anyways, obviously completely side subject, but take a look at that when you get a chance. So uh, I also have Patagonia Houdini. This is just a wind kind of weather jacket that I usually like because it's very small and you can throw that into, you know, almost anywhere and it'll, it'll hold it. Um, things like wallet key, throw those in there. And then uh, my phone, you know, just an iPhone 12 Pro, throw that in there, zip it up. And that's probably what I would carry normally in this thing. Again, if I was traveling, I would the use case for this would be um, a low profile just thing to put all of my stuff in without kind of have to carry a day pack with me. Uh, but you can see once you load it up, it definitely gets wider. Um, and the wider you get with it, the harder it is for this top zipper to zip, obviously, the way that the bag is shaped. So again, I kind of, mm, I find it a little hard to believe that it'll hold five liters. Not really what I was looking for. My other, um, my other sling is really the one if I wanted to carry more um, items in it, I would probably use that one but again it, it serves its purpose it's very it's fairly inexpensive and again really a quality quality sling so i'm gonna put it on here real quick and do kind of a wrap up of the video and uh, show you kind of what it looks like from a fitment perspective just kind of walk around and then let you all uh, decide for yourself uh, if you like what's going on with the channel and this review and uh, you know any of my other reviews please take a look at those uh, please consider liking and subscribing and uh, I appreciate that. That obviously helps the channel out. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this on. So I'll typically wear it a little bit tighter. I actually like it tight to my, to my body. Um, and again, your quick like loop here, you can put your finger in and attach it fairly easily. The um, fit lock attachment allows you also to release it pretty quickly. Um, but uh, to kind of take a look at what I was mentioning, this is what it looks like on, um, and we'll go around to the back. But take a look at kind of how it fits your body. If you notice what I was talking about, these corners here kind of stick out a little bit. Um, I wish they were a little more shaped towards your body. That's kind of what I was looking for. Uh, but on your back, it's not bad. You can take a look at it. We'll take a look. It's not bad, but again, take a look at those top corners that do stick out a little bit. Again, it's a little nitpicky. For the price, it's a great sling. Um, I'm just not really a fan of the top part, but it, it gets used um, in a capacity for a much smaller kind of carry on my side of the house. So, now that you've taken a look at the Alpaca Atom X sling, I hope you um, take a look at it. It's a well put together sling um, with some nice features for the price, especially with some of the, uh, you know, the zippers, the material, the fit lock style, magnetic buckle, those are all things that are a little bit higher end materials um, that you might pay a little bit more money for. So if you're interested, check it out. Uh, I'm, I like slings, they're nice, especially if you're riding a bike or something like that, you don't want to carry a backpack. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to get back into getting some more videos pumped out for you all. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff that I've purchased and just haven't had the chance to get through them. Um, and I've been using them. I like to do unboxings, but sometimes I get a little excited. So uh, stick around. Again, if you want to see some more videos, uh, let me know. Leave some comments, and uh, I'll see you all later.